on 2018 RCT 78. Today I'm going to talk about blue eyes technology. First we'll see what is this and how this was invented. Uh, blue eyes technology was conducted at first by the research team of IBM at its Abaddon Research Institute which is known as ARC since 1997. Before that, Paul Ekman's facial expression work gave the uh, association between a person's emotional state and the psychological state which described the facial action coding system uh, and in 1997. Um, if we take the main name of the blue eyes technology, it is to create computational machines uh, that have perceptual and sensory ability like those of human beings. So, which will lead to computers that will allow to interact like humans. So, if we take it brief, uh, this technology gives computer the human powers. Now, let's see what is blue eyes technology uh, if, or the, what is meant by blue eyes technology. If we take this term, blue stands for Bluetooth, which will provide reliable wireless communication. On the other hand, if we take eyes, eyes leads us to obtain a lot of interesting or the important information. Actually, this blue eyes technology works on artificial intelligence and this is kind of personal area network. This will monitor one's uh, brain involvements as well as his physiological conditions. Uh, if you take an example, if the television enables blue eyes technology, uh, when the user makes eye contact or when he tells the television to turn on, TV will become active. Then we'll have a look on technologies which are used in blue eyes technology. Here I have mentioned some. Those are emotion modes, manual and gaze input cascaded, which is known as magic, artificial intelligence speech recognition, simple user interest tracker, which is known as suitor, the eye movement sensor. Uh, now we'll see what is emotion mouse. Uh, even by a single and a simple touch on the mouse or maybe the keyboard, the machine starts to react with the user according to the emotional level. This emotion mouse will identify the user's emotions such as fear, surprise or any other emotion. Uh, here is an image of emotion mouse and a sample obtained from emotion mouse. Then we have come to a special part that is how it works. Uh, if you take the blue eyes technology, it has been developed on par parameters such as heart pulse rate, breathing rate, temperature, facial expressions, eye movements, or even the voice. This is using sensing technology to identify a user's action. After that, it is analyzed to determine the user's physical, emotional, or informational state, uh, which helps user to be more productive. Here are some ways to detect human emotions. Uh, they are speech recognition, gesture recognition, facial recognition or the eye tracking. Then we'll move into the applications of blue eyes technology. Uh, we can divide it mainly into five categories, which are security, education, health and medicine, military, or maybe the home. So you can see it's been using in many places in many occasions. If we consider this furthermore, here I have uh, mentioned some applications such as Generic control room, power station, captain bridge, flight control centers, uh, or the operating theaters. Now let's talk about the devices which has enabled this technology. Uh, first, we will take podcast. It is the first blue eye enabled mass production. Uh, it is a car manufactured by the Toyota company. It could keep the driver alert and active. It will slow down the driver if he's driving too fast. Also, the most interesting, is interesting part is uh, it will provide music if the driver feels bored. Uh, then we'll have a look on Pong Robo. Uh, this is a robo which is released by the IPM with the Lewis technology. Uh, this is capable of perceiving a person who's standing in front of it or smile when the user calls his name and express the loneliness if he cannot see the user. So that's all. Uh, 
Finally, uh, it's providing more delicate by being user-friendly device. The future of the blue eyes technology is very bright. It can be applicable also in many other areas uh, other than what I have mentioned. So this is the end of my presentation. Thank you for listening.